Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be using the James Charles palette to come up with a look that I don't really know yet. I don't really have this look in my mind yet. I realize like I don't use this palette at all. Like I've used it once or twice, but I hardly ever use it. And I'm like, I need to start using this palette because I freaking, I bought it for a reason. That when I put this shirt on, it actually like gave me all the vibes of doing these kind of colors. I'm like, I'm gonna do like an alien look today and uh, let's see how it goes. I'm not gonna be drawing an alien on my face or anything, but I wanted to use the colors that were on this shirt and I just feel like something like this would really help out too. But we'll see, we'll see where this goes. So before I even start the video, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. My upload days will be Wednesdays and Saturdays. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I was actually debating whether I wanted to do my face makeup first or my eyeshadow just because I don't really use this palette so I don't know if there's gonna be like a lot of fallout and stuff. I think I'll just do my face first because I feel like I look like booty because I have been having the worst allergies ever. They come and go, but like when they come, mm, they're no fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start with my face just, just to look decent or whatever. So for primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put that where I like it. Just kinda go crazy with it. I really like this. When I first tried it out, I wasn't crazy about it, but now that I've been using it a lot, I really like it. I really do feel like it covers up your pores. Um, I do use a good amount of it, so that may be a reason why too, but I really do like it. I put it under my eyes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer now. so many colors to choose from like when i look at this palette i think of a lot of looks i can do so i don't know why i don't use it definitely want to use this color today these two colors right here i want to use so bad today this one i think it's called artist and this one is called skip i have the shade names on the back just because i wanted to be able to look at them but so for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. It is in the shade 495, and I'm just going to go ahead and go in with it. Lately, I've been loving the Revlon one, and I have not been able to put that one down, but I'm like, okay, Ariana, you need to use your other foundations too, because come on now. So my little cousin told me about the Fenty foundation that's coming out. I never used their other one. What's it called? Their Pro Filter Foundation, I think is what it's called. I never used it because... Like, when I would watch reviews on it, people said that it's, like, really matte. And I was afraid to use it on my dry skin. Because I don't want to look cakey. So I try to stay away from matte foundations. I use anything that's more, like, fresh or hydrating or, you know, stuff like that. Because when they put the word matte in something, it kind of scares me. But they came out with, like, a new formula of the same foundation, I think didn't really look at the post but she told me about it and i'm like oh my gosh i want to try it out because a lot of people like that fenty foundation she said i should do a review on it so i just might get it to do a review on it and let you guys know what's up so yeah i'm like girl thanks for letting me know because you know sometimes i don't see everything new that's coming out but I definitely want to try that one out. If you guys would be down to watch that, let me know. Either way, I kind of want to do it anyways because I would love to try the Fenty foundation. This foundation is so good. I forgot how good it was. So when it comes to foundation, do you guys like to use brushes or sponges? I used to love to use sponges all the time, but I got annoyed because like you have to keep adding more product. I feel like it wastes more foundation because you can add more since the sponge absorbs it. And with brushes, they hardly absorb any of the product. You don't need as much foundation. And the brushes that I use, they don't leave streaks on your face. So that's freaking awesome. That's the only thing I didn't like about using brushes is that like, I would be scared because they would leave streaks on your face. 
and so the only brushes that i do use that will not do that for me are these two brushes this is the morphe 439 and this one's really freaking good this is my absolute favorite and then the runner up is the morphe y6 brush these two are perfect foundation no streaks left behind and it just blends everything out really nicely so if you guys were looking into getting brushes for foundation those two are bomb and then if you like sponges then this has been a really good sponge for me i've been using it like crazy lately it's the real technique sponge so those are my recommendations i've been trying to learn how to contour lately i've been trying to teach myself so for contour i'm gonna go ahead and use this wet and wild contour stick i don't know how to contour so don't come at me i'm just trying to like learn how to do this this one's pretty easy to blend out so that's what i like about it I feel like contouring is something that you're gonna have to practice a lot to get the hang of it so what I'm doing now is just trying to go with it and then just eventually learn from my mistakes because I know I'm gonna look back at how I do this right now and I'm gonna be like what was I thinking but that's the only way to learn <laughs> And then for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Ginger. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the sponge because I can't find the brush that I usually use. Use the Lara Mercier translucent powder to set under my eyes. I'm gonna add it to some other areas of my face. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. It's a pressed powder, so it's not a foundation, but you know, sometimes I use it as a foundation. But I also use it to lightly set my face. So for bronzer and blush, I'm going to be using this little palette right here. This is from the Hip Dot and Spongebob collab. It is called Sandy Cheeks and it has both bronzer and blush. I actually have a video on this and I will link it down in the description so you can check it out. I go over the full collection and you can see what kind of look I came up with. But yeah, it's so cute and I'm going to be using it today. And just a little warning, if you decide to get this little Sandy Cheeks palette, be careful with it. They are both very pigmented, both the bronzer and the blush extremely pigmented so you want to go in with a very very light hand I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath go ahead and wipe it off okay so for setting spray I'm gonna go ahead and use this Milani make it dewy setting spray real quick I love the way it smells oh my god it smells so freaking good so it's taking a minute to dry on my cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and start priming my lids and I'm gonna go ahead and use this urban decay primer potion what's well, the eyeshadow primer potion So I have a little bit of the shade called Skip on a brush right now and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the outer corner of my eye.
Now in the Morphe 441, I have the shade called Pinkity Drinkity, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend it out. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the shade called Single to the outer corner. And this is a little Wet n Wild brush. It doesn't really have a name on it, but it's Wet n Wild. So I'm going to bring in the purple a little bit more and then I'm actually going to add some blue to the outer corner and see how that goes. So on another wet and brown brush, it is the same as the other but it, they have no name so I don't know. I'm going to take the shade called Playground and add a little bit of that to my outer corner. mix it in with the purple oh it just made like a deeper purple trying to blend it everything out with a little bit of pinky drinkity on this brush definitely regret adding the blue just because it made it like a deep purple and that is not what I was going for at all but I'm just gonna have to roll with it so with this Milani concealer, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease really quickly. So for the cut crease, I'm going to set it with the shade called Flashback. And then on my finger, I'm going to take the shade called Artistry. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and add the Milani Hypnotic Lights shadow. It is in the shade Cosmic Meadow. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and then with my finger just add some on top. I'm kind of scared because I already like how this looks. So I hope I don't ruin it, but we'll see what happens. So I'm taking the shade Skip all over the bottom lash line. So I'm taking some of the shade Single on the outer corner of my bottom lash line. And then re-blending it out with the shade called Skip. For the inner corner, I will be using this Maybelline Master Chrome. Highlight, it is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Okay, so this is what the eye looks like so far. 
I actually really freaking like it despite like the little issues that went on I think it looks freaking dope I love it for someone that doesn't do colorful looks this isn't half bad so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and add the liner mascara and lashes but I will let you guys know what I use when I come back so, alright guys so I'm back with the other eye completed and I did say that I would let you guys know what I used for my eyelashes and all that stuff for lashes I used none other than the kiss Ritzy lashes I know I use these a lot but it's just they're so good they're cheap they're drugstore they're affordable they're beautiful they're easy to use and you can literally use them over and over and over these are not even new they've already been used and they just last forever they're so good I'm comfortable with them I love how they look they're bomb I love them so I know I use them a lot I'll start using other lashes in other videos but these are just they're just like my go-to they're like my staple eyelash you know for eyeliner I did go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty fly liner this is in the shade because I'm black I don't really know if they have other shades but this one's because I'm black and this is also a really really freaking good eyeliner and it is bomb I love the formula of it love the color I love the finish I love the tip the tip is just so good like you guys it is so good and so easy to use and you can get really precise with it and it's so fast like you can literally whoop. and I oh so if you guys were looking for a new high-end eyeliner, this one is definitely recommendable. For mascara, I did use the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. This is one of my favorite high-end mascaras. It is freaking bomb. I love it so much. For highlight, I will be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Rose Gold Highlight. I'm just smoothing it out with the Real Techniques sponge. That is a really blinding highlight and it is from the drugstore, gotta love that. For the lips, I feel like this is the most fitting one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and it is in the shade Moon Jelly. Okay, so that is it for the lips. Because, you know, I like to go very simple when it comes to my lips. And for setting spray, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild setting spray. This is a coconut one. Alright, guys. So, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed trying out something different. Finally stepping out of my comfort zone and doing a more colorful look. I definitely want to use that palette a little more. Maybe do some neutral looks and some other colorful looks. It's a good palette. Like, I never used it. I don't know why I never used it. I just bought it and I was excited for it, but I never used it. And now I'm definitely gonna have to start using it more. It is really good. James Charles Morphe, you guys did an amazing job with this palette. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.